These two guys were going to do a first descent down this thing, and they were contacting another guy who had done that river, an American guy. Mm -hmm. And the American guy was like, I can't miss this descent. I got to do that whole river. And then the three of them got into this zone where there was just crocs everywhere, and the river was real slow and wide. And as soon as they got there, all the crocs came off the riverbank, and they were like, oh, shit, there's like tons of them. Oh. And this guy's theory was to take his helmet and throw it off to the side so it would be like movement and distract them, and they'd attack that, and he'd paddle it to the shore. And all three of them got together, and the American guy was on the right side, and the other two guys were together, and they were so close, the guy in the middle couldn't really paddle. He was just kind of like trying to move along with them. And so they figured the bigger we are, the bigger we look and more intimidating, like maybe we'll be okay. 15, 18 foot croc comes up, grabs the guy, pulls him out of his kayak, disappears, they never see him again. His backpack floats up, and then his stuff's floating downstream. The other two guys get out of the water, and then there's a little village just down, and there were some boats, but the boats were all dry docked. And they went down, and in broken English, there was one person that could talk to him or whatever, and they said, our boats are not in the water because there's too many crocs here. 